We do begin tonight with breaking news at this hour. ABC News has just learned that the U.S. has just launched a military assault against Iranian-backed Houthi militants in Yemen. A U.S. official at this hour saying these strikes are the first on Yemen since the beginning of Israel's war with Hamas. Tonight, the U.S.-led attacks involve a mix of Tomahawk cruise missiles and fighter jets, the U.K. joining us. The White House warning the U.S. will, quote, counter and defeat these mounting attacks. Also, an emergency cabinet meeting in the U.K. today. Now, this follows months of attacks on commercial shipping in the Red Sea. 24 hours ago, we learned of the militant's largest attack yet. Their drones and missiles were shot down by the U.S. and the U.K. The militants say their attacks are in response to Israel's war on Hamas. The U.S. intercepting a barrage of 18 drones and three missiles just in this latest attack alone. You'll remember, one of the Houthis' most brazen attacks came in November. These are the pictures. Terrorists hijacking a cargo ship co-owned by an Israeli businessman. That ship tonight, by the way, still being held by rebels. Tonight, this U.S. attack now on Yemen and on these Iranian-backed militants now underway. Our chief White House correspondent, Mary Bruce, leading us off. Tonight, U.S. and British forces unleashing a massive retaliatory strike on Houthi rebels in Yemen after months of costly attacks on commercial shipping in the Red Sea. A U.S. official confirming the strikes hit multiple Houthi targets in Yemen and involved a mix of Tomahawk cruise missiles and fighter jets. Moments ago, President Biden releasing a statement saying these targeted strikes are a clear message, adding the U.S. will not tolerate attacks on our personnel or allow hostile actors to imperil freedom of navigation, and the president not ruling out taking further measures to protect our people. Just 24 hours ago, the White House warned the Houthis could bear the consequences if they don't stop attacks on commercial shipping in the Red Sea. Tonight, doubling down. I'm not going to telegraph punches one way or another here. We're going to do what we have to do to, to, uh, to counter and defeat these threats that the Houthis keep throwing up uh, on commercial shipping uh, in the Red Sea. Since mid-November, the Houthis have launched at least 27 attacks, claiming it's in retaliation for Israel's war against Hamas, disrupting one of the most vital shipping routes in the world. The latest attack coming overnight. The Houthis firing a ballistic missile towards a commercial ship in the region, just hours after American and British forces repelled the rebels' largest attack yet, intercepting a barrage of 21 Houthi drones and missiles. One of the Houthis' most brazen attacks coming in November when terrorists hijacked a cargo ship co-owned by an Israeli businessman, landing a helicopter on its deck in the Red Sea. The ship and its 25-man crew still being held by the rebels. Tonight, a Houthi leader warning any U.S. attack will not go without a response. All right, so let's get right to Mary Bruce at the White House as we're on the air here in the West. And this U.S.-led attack on Yemen, on these Iranian-backed militants now underway, Mary. It all comes amid concern the Israel-Hamas war obviously could spread beyond Gaza. And I gather this is not just retaliation for the attacks on the Red Sea, uh, but also meant to send a message to the entire region. David, the U.S. is clearly trying to send a message that these attacks will not be tolerated. And tonight, our team on the ground in Yemen reports that five cities have now been targeted and hit, including the capital. But, David, the Houthis have been defiant, adamant that they will push back and counter any American aggression. David, they say they will not back down. All right, Mary Bruce on the breaking news from the White House tonight. Mary, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.